I'm Darren. I work in Dubai, do a bit of design, and enjoy life. I'm Sebastian. I have a company called OPM. I'm a creative designer and project consultant. I'm the, the social animal. You know, I'm out and shouting about us and trying to get the work in and trying to persuade him to come out as well. Whereas Sebastian kind of takes the mantle of once I've got the working and, and we're doing stuff, he's the one who makes the work work. Three words to describe Dan, which isn't going to get me into trouble. Um, I can take it. <laughs> certainly funky, precise, and emotional. Sebastian, organised, determined, and cool. This is our favourite room. We've spoken about this at length many, many a time. Yeah. It's always the same thing. It's the kitchen. The kitchen. Doesn't matter how big the house yeah. is, you can have a mansion, you know, 30 bedroom mansion. Best part is always in the kitchen. The kitchen is where, usually because it's where the fridge is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and the fridge contains the food and the drink, you know, so that's a good start. But, you know, for, I think um, on a deeper level, I think yeah, we can also say it's, it's where the energy is. It's the hub of the house. Yeah, you know? it's always warm. It's always a place where there's a fresh energy, something always mm. going on. People don't go to the kitchen to sleep and rest. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, well, it's not. And, <laughs> you know, it's where all the five senses are usually activated. One difference between us is he's definitely more outrageous. He'll be that one person who says, wouldn't, we, wouldn't it be cool if we did this? And I'm looking at it and it never even crossed my mind. But yeah, if we tied it up around the edges, it would work. The most important piece of furniture in every house is the bed. Because you spend a third of your life in bed. So I think you should spend, you know, close on a third of your wages on your bed. Because it's just a great place if you get it right. And you know, you can do so much. And it's where families are created. <laughs> I'm a little bit different on that sense. I mean, I totally agree, yes, the bed. Great, fantastic, but I would, if I was to spend a wad of cash first, it would have to be the sofa. Sofas are the only thing in the house which really allow me to be truly me. I pretty much horizontal comfort, and it's the type of thing where you can either listen to music, read, it's multifunctional, it's fantastic what you can do with these things. Um, you know, listen to TV, and you can even use it as a bed, there we go. <laughs> the make or break of the change, space planning. 100% to start with. You've got to start with the space. And understand From, how you're going to use the space. Yeah. You know, a lot of people get it, I don't want to say get it wrong, but I would say they complicate things by not putting the right furniture in the right position. Colour is just something you add, you know. You either use it as a tool or you add it as a, as a finish. That design is about detail and being a designer in general um, is not all just about creativity. Or, to be honest, the creativity aspect of it is 30-40%. We're all, all of us designers, if we want to be. But I think it's taking the time to see the, the finite detail that makes a design. I think uh, once we do, do bizzle someone's house, I just want them to be the smile, you know, if they walk in and there's a smile, then we've done a good job. I want people to hug me, maybe weep a little bit and joy, um, just be so grateful. Uh. <laughs>